Hi, we're out in Forest School and today we've been thinking about robots and here are some of our thoughts. Our robot protects the trees because if someone's trying to cut down a tree, it smacks it with the hammer. The weapons that the robot has is a chainsaw, a big joint hammer and he can open his claw. Um, he's got giant feet. The if he lifts it up and he stands on someone, something in the back of his foot goes into him. His big fist can cause a lot of damage, so I wouldn't get near a tree and try and chop it down if I were you. Thank you very much. Okay, here's our next amazing woodland robot, and here are the people who've made it. Our robot, our robot's weapon is a mallet. Our robot protects do, protects all the birds. It protects birds by scaring them off by pretending to hit them with a mallet. Okay, I wonder what this robot does. Our robot protects the birds from foxes and badger, badgers. Its special weapon is that it can shoot water at the... Thank you very much. Okay, here's a camouflage robot and the children who have made him. This is our robot called Roger and he has a load of weapons. Can you tell me anything about the weapons? It shoots goo. Shoots goo? Yeah. Do you know why it shoots goo? It shoots goo to, 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 to protect spiders and from them not, not dying and keeping safe. All right, and this must be the spider over here. Yeah. Thank so you very much. Here's another amazing robot and the people who've made it. Um, its name is Bird Protector of the Forest. Can you tell me anything about it? Um, it, ha it has laser shooting out of its eyes and it's got food on its head. It's got food on its head? What's it got food on its head for? To protect the birds and there's a little nest with the berries on that's really cool. Well done. Thank here's you very another much. Another miniature, small, amazing robot, and here's the person who made it. It's not finished yet, but um, what it's supposed to do is you could uh, program it to go out for different things. You could program it to climb up the trees, um, get a few samples of fallen off bark, and that would then make that into planks, and then he could make a little bird house or a bird nest for the birds so they don't have to do all the work. So, and then there's also, let's say a falling tree was on the ground, or if it, what it would do is it would put, cut it in halves that it can carry, it would start placing it up and eat the grass and then it would produce it into goo uh, or um, sap and it would stick the tree together so it would uh, so the tree would still grow and uh, and it can climb up anything because it would have suckers on its feet but technically it's not kind of finished brilliant thank you very much